So do you dream of starting your own woodworking, carpentry, or handyman business? I know I did. And I did it. I went out and started my own woodworking, carpentry, and handyman business, and I've been doing that for about three years. Um, a little bit of my backstory is in 2015, I got fired. Lost my job, wasn't expecting it, but walked in the office one day, left with my stuff packed in a box, and it was, all right, what are we going to do now? Um, I wasn't in the trades. Um, I had a little bit of background from about 10 years prior of doing it in high school during the summers. And then a little bit of, I did uh, hobbyist woodworking on the side. I did a little bit of handyman work off and on for different people here and there. Um, and so I kind of had that kind of little side income going. But I never dreamed that it would become my primary source of income to support my family. So whenever I got fired, I applied to all the jobs that were in my field, you know, those office jobs where you sit there and it's just that mind-numbing eight hours. I applied to all of those because it's what, you know, I expected that I would be able to find to support my family. Well, instead of just sitting around waiting for that to happen, I decided, well, while I'm waiting, I need income, so I am going to try to hustle up some, you know, handyman jobs, whatever that is see what I can find and then about a month after you know trying to just hustle up a little bit of work temporarily um, I decided you know what I'm gonna try to make this work it's something I dreamed of it's something that I wanted it's something that I never thought possible but here I am effectively running my own business now I need to figure out how to do that it was really hard for me to find clear concise and quality information, especially for guys just starting out like me. Um, guys who, you know, didn't really come up through the trades, you know, might have some skills, have a lot to need to learn. Had a whole lot I need to learn. Still have a lot I need to learn. Um, but it was really hard to find those resources. So here's what I'm doing. Um, I kind of false started this a few times uh, the last couple of years, just so it got pushed back because of priorities. Um, but now we are officially launching, and it's been kind of a dream of mine, it's, or a goal of mine, uh, to start the businessofcarpentry.com. Everything I wish I knew when I started my business. And that's as simple of a website tagline as you can get, and it's as to the point as you can get. Um, it's just gonna be a collection of you know, blog posts, videos, um, interviews, everything I wish I could find, hopefully clearly explained, uh, concisely as possible, and organized in a way that makes it easy for you, no matter where you're at in your journey to start your own business, um, no matter where you're at, and that's going to be the businesscarpentry.com. It's going to launch February 1st, 2019. And I'm really excited about it. We've already kind of got the framework going. We're building the site up where there's going to be a lot of good content there right at launch. I'm going to be teaming up with other uh, tradesmen who have been doing this longer than me. Other guys who just starting out and just trying to get as much information out there and help as many people as possible who have this dream of running their own successful and profitable uh, woodworking, carpentry, and handyman business. So a little bit about me, which I probably should have led with this, um, but my name is Robert Daly, and I currently run uh, two businesses. The first is Daly Woodworks, which is a local residential carpentry, small-scale remodeling and custom furniture business, and that is what I do locally. The second is a niche business that exploded out of Daily Woodworks called Texas Custom Kennels, where we build and sell custom dog kennels and ship them all over the U.S. Now, whenever I tell people that I own two businesses, um, especially people who don't, haven't seen me and especially people who haven't seen my house, um, think, well, you must be wildly successful. No, I'm not. I'm just a guy. I make a modest middle-class income. Um, I work really hard. I work too much. Um, I definitely am not an overnight success. I do not have this all figured out. 
Um, and I do not have all the answers. I am very much in the learning stage. Um, I make mistakes. I have made mistakes. I continue to make mistakes. Um, so if you're thinking I'm going to be the guy that's going to have the answer to every question you ask and be able to lay out exactly what you can do and here's your ro road map to ultimate success, um, and I'm not that guy. Um, what, I, what I am trying to do is build a network, build a resource for people who dream the dream I had of running my own woodworking carpentry business who might not necessarily be in the trades, um, you might be, um, and just want to know what it takes to get there. So I would encourage you, first off, to join our Facebook group. We have the Business of Carpentry Support Center on Facebook, and it's, that's just what it is. If you want to talk about starting your own carpentry business, if you want to talk about where you're at in your carpentry business, it's just a support center where we can all come together, share ideas, resources, ask your questions, get your answers, give advice, get advice. So no matter where you are on this journey, whether it's you're sitting in an office watching this with your headphones on because you don't want your boss to know that you're dreaming of quitting your job and going out and building beautiful things the rest of your life, or if you've been doing that for the last 20, 30, 40 years of building things. Um, we'd like both of you to join the group um, because you know the guy who's sitting in his office right now uh, watching this video dreams of being where you Mr. Carpenter of 40 years have been. Each of us have things to give. Each of us have things to offer. Each of us have things to learn from each other. So I encourage you to join our Facebook group um, and then of course subscribe to the YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up, like it, whatever, share it a million times. So thank you for sticking with my late night rambling for this. Um, join our Facebook group and stay tuned because we're going to have some great things coming up in 2019. And let's get this thing started. Don't, don't do that button. This is the good button. That's the bad button. Okay, so I've had too much coffee, too late at night, and I need to go to bed.